a lot of things that you are seeing and hearing about AI didn't seem possible just three months ago. In this video, I'm going to talk about an AI photo editing software, just like Photoshop, but on steroids. So to access this software, go to Google and type in playgroundai.com and then create an account by signing up. And then you'll see a bunch of photos made by other creators on here. This has an option of generating images like DALI and mid journey and also has an option of importing external pictures that you have clicked real life pictures. And then when you put any text, you, your input is simply that you need to write text and instruct it, whatever output you want. So if you want to edit your own photos, go to create. And then this is a simple layout. It looks complicated at first, just like all the other softwares and things that you do for the first time. So now to edit your own photo, click on import image. And we'll take an example of this photo right here. So let's do something with this shirt. So to actually do this more accurately, there is a option called add mask. So whatever you want to change, you just have to shade that area and then you can write any instruction that you want it to do. So I'll begin with shading this shirt part because I, I want to edit his shirt. So I'll shade all the shirt area. It doesn't have to be that accurate, just an estimate. You can increase and decrease the size of your brush from right here. You can go back, delete and erase also. So let's try something difficult. Let's instruct it to turn the shirt into a coat, a black coat. So let's try. And then once you are done putting in the prompt, click on generate and wait for the image to appear. And just look at the image. It looks really nice. I mean, the quality, considering that the software is free, available to all the people around the world, and you can create thousand images a day. It's free. Now, if you're not satisfied with your result, there is a section here which lets you increase the strength of your prompt from right here just in, let's increase it to around 14 and then just click on generate again and the quote became a bit more prominent than before now let's try adding some wrinkles on the quote with and then decrease your setting to 12 13 and then click on generate and as you can see, it has given this photo a more realistic look. It all depends upon what kind of a prompt have you put in in this section. Your prompts, if they are really good, then you will get that kind of an output. If your prompts are average, then you don't should not expect much from your output. But you can get better at it, like some practice and some research on how, what all prompts work. Now I want his hat to be black as well. So I'll decrease the size of the brush and start painting. And then I'll go right here and I'll right turn the sh turn the hat into a black. Into black. and then click on generate and just like that it turned the hat into black while also keeping the texture of the hat if you can see clearly now if you want to now if you want to import a new image then go to cancel and then click back on import image so let's change the background of this image right here so i'll click on add mask and increase the size and quickly add a mask on these buildings right here. Now 
without keep, keeping too much precision because just to show you how efficient this is and then I wanted to turn I want this software to turn the background into and then I click on generate and it actually looks pretty nice I'm not gonna lie it's pretty nice considering it's an AI it's really really nice and just imagine where it's gonna go in the next one year forget one year in the next five months because every day there's something new being launched let's increase the strength and see how it behaves and then click on generate so now let's turn the scene into night and then I'm going to decrease the strength and click on generate and it converts the scene from day to night but we forgot to save our changes so to save our changes we need to click on edit this image so we forgot to save our image with the prompt in which we told it to replace the background buildings so edit this image and then you can edit on the current image so this is one thing you need to keep in mind while editing your photos background buildings so edit this image and then you can edit on the current image so this is one thing you need to keep in mind while editing your photos so I added a mask on this photo right here so I added a photo on this mask right here so I added a mask on this photo right here and and told it to convert this old man's white beard into blue and let's see let's decrease the strength and let's see what kind of output do we get it looks pretty realistic and if you want to decrease the blue shade just decrease the strength and then click on generate again so now the output looks much more blended in I mean there's a texture the original photo was like this and this what we've got is like this so I picked this image right here and told it to make it a rave party atmosphere and look at what we've got such a nice such a nice piece of art we've got right here you can do many things with this AI technology but that is a whole separate video and there are plenty on the internet let's try increasing the strength and see what result we get it takes an average of about 8 to 10 seconds depending upon the quality and details so if you want it to take less time just decrease the details cranking up the strength didn't work that well let's try decreasing it and then click on generate and this looks almost same but yeah so another feature it has is generation of images so to generate images go to your profile click on your sign up profile and then click on profile and this is the history of your images that are saved in your generations so just click on create and now instead of clicking on import image we'll go right here filters so whatever concept of art you want just click it right here so I'll click one theme and just write a prompt so I wrote a very basic prompt and then let's see what we get out of this and go down right here and select the number of images that you want so we've got three images right here and then out of this these images whichever you want whatever you want to remove just click on this mode remove from image and then you can write whatever you want to remove from the image and I wrote this prompt right here under under radiant symmetry 
and then click on generate. And these are all the outputs that I got. And they look pretty okay to me. There are many options. Let's try the same thing under this section right here because this looks good. So just click on generate and wait for a couple of seconds. And these are some modern looking statues. So just imagine what all is coming within the next one to two months and I'll be making similar videos pretty soon.